Hello. Hi there, good afternoon. This is Dhaka, Bangladesh. I changed hotels today from the uh, more old Dhaka area to Banani. People were saying in the comments, you gotta go to Golshan and Banani and see the more modern and nicer and cleaner hello side of uh, Dhaka and Bangladesh and so here I am you with me I go somewhere I can show you a nice place oh thank you sir but I'm just walking around right now oh I think so you take you take the risk uh, no video, no video, I, I can show you a nice place I understand before I've taken uh, many rickshaws around the city but Right now, I'm just walking to a park, so uh, I'm uh, in, uh, I'm enjoying you, the walk. Uh, where do you live? You here? I'm staying, uh, yes, nearby. Oh. Yeah, so just you, for a couple days, so. Uh, you take my WhatsApp number that you are writing for me, I'm oh. writing for you. No, you thanks. Right, right now, I'm... You tell me I can come to your house. Thank you, but right now, I'm busy just walking, so I wish you the best of luck. Okay, take Good care. business, yep. Okay. Take care. So a lot of the comments have uh, been saying to me, why are you only showing the, you know, bad sides of the country? What is your agenda? Who are you working for? So here is my agenda. Zero, nothing. There is no agenda for my travel videos. I am just showing you whatever I am experiencing, the highs, the lows, the luxury, the poverty, the budget rooms, the five-star rooms, the street food, the fancy restaurants, the mountains, the cities, the desert, the markets, etc. I have no agenda other than to just document my experiences, but I get the uh, general idea of the question and the accusation considering that I just posted I think seven videos exploring around the old Dhaka area So much for uh, this part of town being quieter. And so I understand what uh, people are getting at is that I definitely do have a tendency to focus more on like the old town areas as opposed to the more modern sides of a lot of places. But I think that this video might answer the question pretty well on its own. Because, to me at least, what you're seeing right here is just not as interesting as what I was showing in the old town of Dhaka. These Narrow little lanes, packed with action. Plenty of action here, but it's kind of more just like traffic and big buildings. Instead of the uh, food being cooked up and the mix of the animals and bicycle rickshaws and less cars. The more quaint colorful, unique types of shops and buildings instead of this big road that I have to walk on the sidewalk and, and then just like look up at buildings that don't look all that much different from big apartment business buildings that you see anywhere. Let's uh, get across the street.
And so, as a traveler, then, I'm looking for places and experiences that are markedly different from what I experienced back home in my home country of the United States. Big buildings like this, malls, nice looking restaurants, that just is not what I'm seeking out. as a traveling experience in a foreign land. Also, the old towns are the historical areas. The Lalbagh Fort that I showed here in Dhaka, the Dhakashwari Temple, Hindu Temple, 500-year-old temple, the Beriganga River, and the old boat docks there that have been active for, I'm sure, thousands of years. Whoop. This is certainly still a somewhat uh, interesting area, but... Not nearly as uh, fascinating to explore, in my opinion, as what I was showing in my previous videos. However, I do understand the uh, concept that people are getting across, that you, know, you want to see both sides, and especially countries that have a reputation, that uh, haven't been you know, displayed to the world very much. Not a lot of travel vloggers coming to Bangladesh. And so people want to see, you know, and want their country to be shown as it is, which is not just the hundreds of years old parts of the city. So here you go. I am doing that as requested, showing the other side. And tomorrow I will make a more comprehensive video going over to Golshan and showing more. Today I was preoccupied with packing up and moving over and checking into my hotel and whatnot. So it's like, I think four in the afternoon or something. So I will pull off until tomorrow to do a full video. There are some interesting things to see around here, but that means like malls and other more modern skyscrapers, shoe shops. Now, I would certainly dispute the idea that I only show the bad sides of countries. I think that my videos show the best of many countries and certainly the worst in some cases as well. I am very much interested in seeing a very, very wide variety of different types of places wherever I go. It can depend a lot on just where I am, what there is to see, what the sort of average scenes are. I mean, I explored a lot of Dhaka in various directions in all of those previous videos that I showed, and so that was, you know, the real Dhaka. A lot of the city, but There is also the much more modern and developed, cleaner, less chaotic parts to show as well. So I'll do my best to uh, 
capture that in my final uh, 24 hours, basically, here in Bangladesh, as I talked about in my last video, then I'm catching a flight day after tomorrow to Kolkata, India. Okay, so I'm walking to a park. It should be uh, coming up soon. So what do you guys think? Is this as interesting as what I showed in my other videos? Personally, I don't think so. Certainly some uh, cool stuff to see. I love the uh, line of the cycle rickshaw guys here. Okay, let's uh, check the phone and see if we're near that park. I guess that's probably it right up ahead there. Yes, and so I certainly acknowledge that along with my platform, my audience that I'm reaching, then I have a certain, I don't know about obligation or even responsibility, I don't know, maybe so, but uh, in the interest of fairness, I should, you know, try to show various sides of a place that I'm visiting and not just reinforce misconceptions or only focus on one aspect. It can depend on how much time I have in a place. If you think about my uh, videos in India, I get a lot of similar comments on those videos, especially because some of the most popular ones that I posted of India are ones like walking through Old Delhi and whatnot. But uh, meanwhile, I'm not sure exactly how many videos I have of India, but it is literally hundreds, hundreds of different videos over the course of more than a decade of filming there. And I've shown, you know, just about everything you can see in the country, all aspects from the Himalayas to the villages, the big cities, the old town, the more modern areas, the deserts, the great beaches, temples, etc. Now in the case of Bangladesh, I'm only spending a week here and only in Dhaka, so that of course limits my ability to show so much more that there is to see here. I've gotten all kinds of recommendations and looked at them online. Selet, Cox's Bazaar, the longest beach in the world, the jungles, mountains. There's an amazing ancient Buddhist site that looks really, really incredible that I'd love to see, but uh, just decided to continue on my way to India, get up into the Himalayas, and I will absolutely be considering coming back to Bangladesh another time because I really genuinely want to see more of the country. So this uh, series certainly is not a well-rounded, comprehensive look at Bangladesh, all that there is to see in this very diverse, fascinating, and little-known country. All right, where'd the park go? Let's just uh, get down to the end of the street here. Maybe that's a mall up there? Looks like it, or a parking lot garage. So, I'm really glad that I didn't spend most of my time in this neighborhood. I'm glad that I stayed where I did for the first five days because just way more cool, way more interesting. 
than what I'm seeing around here. I'm also glad that I made the change today up here and I'm spending two nights here to see another side of things. So it's all good in my book. It certainly does feel a lot different up here, easier to walk around, less chaos. Hi there. Less of a uh, sensory overload. You can relax a little bit more. Not, you know, ultra peaceful or anything, but uh, definitely less of a, you know, crazy scene than what I was seeing before. So it is a little bit kind of a relief to be in this part of uh, the city for my last couple nights. But old Dhaka is where it's at as far as the traveler's experience goes. Well, I'm still not quite sure what that is there. But, it's definitely getting a little more hectic. So, uh, I think that is going to do it for this video. A little taste of banani. And tomorrow I will show more of the uh, newer, more modern side of Dhaka, Bangladesh.